I'm Madeline Rusher, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This YouTube video will be about my new one mil pint. The first thing you'll need is a helmet that looks something like this. A good thing to remember is this part with no light is the back, which is which it always tips to. You'll find the button to turn it on right here. This will light up. You'll notice that the one wheel always tips to the back, which is the side with the logo. The side up in the air is the front with the LED light. When you're ready to ride, put whatever foot you want in the back on the side with the logo. You put your foot on the front that is most comfortable. After you try to balance, it'll try to balance you. Now I will try to balance. When you get on the one wheel, do not fight it because it will try to balance you. You'll notice that the light turns from white to blue to purple when it's trying to balance. We'll put both feet on, and now it senses that my feet are on it. So then when I try to balance, it'll blink, and now it knows I'm ready to go. Make sure you're not wiggling around the lot because then it gets confused and it thinks you might be falling off. So after you start riding, the light will fall off. It takes a while to master, so just be careful at first. You always want to have a helmet. I'm going to show you how to stop. When you're riding your one wheel, make sure to have your hands out for more balance. When you stop, lift one foot off the sensors. It will know that you're either trying to get off or falling off. Then put the back foot down. You have to do this pretty hard. find this on this side. This enables you to pick it up easily. These are the basics of the one wheel. The model I have is the pint, but I believe these hold true for all of the models. So first of all, if you look at it, you can tell the front and the back by the way it falls. It always falls to the back because it's counterbalanced. You can also tell by the logo. The logo's in the back, and the light's in the front. Also, the front is up in the air. This is where you plug in your one wheel. It comes with the slow charger, but you can also purchase a fast charger. This is the power button. You only need to press it once to turn the one wheel on. Make sure you wait for the lights to stop changing colors before you get on. Now it's ready to be ridden. I will demonstrate how the one wheel balances, works, and runs with my feet, I mean with my hands instead of my feet so you can tell. It has two pads, one right here and one right here. When it feels pressure, the light will turn blue. When you have your foot on the pad, it will turn blue so it knows that you're ready to ride. I find that it's best to lift up your heel when getting off, or you can lift up your toe. After you do this, you put this side down and it stops you. When coming to a stop, don't be afraid to smack the tail down. One wheels are built in America and they are built very rugged. They have a rep replaceable skid pad on the bottom so it shows you how much abuse they can take. I will show you this in a minute. 
Now I'm showing you the underside of the one wheel. These are the main frame on both sides. They're made out of extruded aluminum. These are the skid pads that I was talking about. These are on both sides. You can easily replace them as you can see. My one wheel came with a fender. You can get these in many custom different colors. I would recommend having one for all one wheels. I got my one wheel for Christmas, so I, I've had it for about two weeks now. I think anyone with determination and some balance could do it pretty well and have a lot of fun. I was up and riding mine within minutes. As you can see, I've had some past hoverboard experience too, which helps a little, but the one wheel is a, pretty much a whole different ballgame. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my next video.